people are constantly saying, oh, electric cars can't work because of this. They can't work because of this. They can't work because of this. Well, there is always a solution. And I think this one product actually solves a couple of different issues all at once. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Brisbane in Australia. I'm up here for a race with my son, Jack. He's eight and he would love it if you subscribe to his channel or just jumped on his channel and watched his video. Now, just want to say a big shout out. Thank you to all of you for subscribing, for supporting the channel, for supporting the movement, what this channel is all about. Because yeah, the planet, eh, we do need it. We live here. We might as well keep it good, right? And I believe that what this channel is about is partly the solution to having a better planet and to you guys not getting cancer. Yes, emissions from vehicles are one of the key drivers of cancer. So to me, basically an internal combustion engine vehicle is like an enormous cancer stick. But unfortunately, it's one of those things where you can't avoid it, right? If you're walking around in a city, you're walking around millions or hundreds of thousands of cancer sticks and you can't get away from them. That's a big problem because when I can smell that stink of fumes, I know I'm breathing in stuff that's pretty bad for me, right? Anyway, this idea is really cool because it solves a few different issues, right? When you have a power outage and you live in an apartment block, what do you do? Well, there's nothing you can do. As far as I know, most of the time, nothing you can do. When you live in an apartment block and you don't have access to a charger, or your work doesn't have a charger, or you don't have a PowerPoint near your apartment block that you can reach to your car, that actually does apply to probably millions of people right now, then this can provide the solution. Now remember, the average person only drives around about 30 kilometers a day. So this is perfect. For apartment dwellers, it's absolutely ideal in my view. A British designed portable electric car charger is in the advanced stages of development and it's on track to go on sale early next year, according to its manufacturer. There are products similar to this in some way right now, but nothing I think that's quite as convenient or quite as made for purpose as this is. The Zip Charge Go portable lithium ion battery operates as a jerry can a jerry can is like a petrol can that you might carry in your car and has just picked up a prestigious British Engineering Excellence Award for addressing a real need in the fast growing EV market. The Zip Charge Go has a battery capacity of between four kilowatt hour and eight kilowatt hour. And according to its manufacturer, provides around 30 to 65 kilometers of range in around 30 minutes, depending on the type of electric vehicle. Now, one thing just came to my mind right now, this could be like having a generator when you're camping as well. So you could be out camping, or I don't know, on your farm or anywhere. And you could use this to power either your vehicle from wherever you are, if you get stuck or if you run out of charge, or you could use it to say power your camping equipment, your cooking equipment, etc. So the company says it can generate 30 to 65 kilometers of range within 30 minutes, but, 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 this is a great product. And this British company, big kudos to them for making it. But what I can see happening is the Chinese, but I'll tell you about that in a second. It utilizes a type two plug and has a charging speed similar to a typical home wall box at around 7.2 kilowatt. This portable lithium ion battery is about the same size as carry on luggage. And it comes with wheels and a retractable handle to make it kind of easy to get around. It can be charged at home via a regular wall plug and then wheeled out to your car to add range or stored in the boot for peace of mind on longer trips. Now with 30 to 65 kilometers, you might be thinking, yeah, that's not, that's not much, but it's enough to get most people to the nearest charging station, right? And these things will only get better. As energy density in batteries improves, you're gonna find that by 2030, a suitcase like this will not only be much cheaper, but have much more energy density, giving it the ability to probably charge your car more than 100 kilometers by then. Now, obviously, this would be perfect for people living in an apartment. They could use this thing to top up their car on a daily basis, just plug it in at home, wheel it out to their car, 
and plug it in when they need. And really, you could even bring this in your car at any point in time as like a range extender if you wanted to. It has heaps of different features. I mean, you can use it for so many things. Mobile phone charging when you're on some sort of trip in the middle of nowhere, powering a laptop, powering, powering there's just endless amounts of things you could use this for. The Go also features 4G connectivity and it can be controlled via an app allowing users to schedule charging when electricity tariffs are at their lowest point. That's cool, I love that. It also has bi-directional charging that allows the Go to feed energy back into the grid. In theory, you could buy one of these if you live in a country or a city where there's high peak rates of electricity. You could buy one of these. You could take electricity out of the grid when it's cheap, right? Put it back in when it's more expensive. So you could even use it like an energy arbitrage app that Tesla have for people with the Tesla battery, the wall battery. Details on pricing are not yet available, but I'm gonna guess something like this would cost around $1,500 at this point in time anyway, based on current battery cell costs. So the company is called ZipCharge and I'll put a link in the description below. Now it's a great product, I love it. And you know, as soon as this comes to market, many, many more companies are gonna start making them. And they're gonna start making them with probably cheaper battery cells, cheaper prices, more options, bigger packs, smaller packs more features on them, etc., etc. It's a great idea. It's going to be copied by everyone. You can't possibly patent this idea. And eventually what will happen is Chinese manufacturers will make them very, very cheaply. You'll be able to buy them on eBay and they'll be everywhere. And everyone will say, remember when we used to say apartment didn't work for an EV? Wow, that was stupid, wasn't it? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.